it's coffee time. Oh man, I have come to a decision. Do you see this thing of red vines behind me? It's almost empty because I just eat them all day long. My tongue is constantly bright red. I need to stop eating them, I've decided. Because look, there's a place, there's like a nice health food store, not that far away, and they make and have to eat and to buy basically red vines, but just made out of fruit. And they're delicious. They're so good. And I don't know why I keep buying red vines. I mean, there's a price difference, obviously. I can get like a tub of red vines for a buck. Not really for a buck, but like it might as well be a buck. It's so cheap compared to just buying, you know, like a little package like this. But again, a package like this is like a normal amount of those things to eat. It's a tub. It's a tub of red vines. I need it out of my life. It's the same thing with like goldfish. I bought the like family size thing of goldfish. And for those of you who don't have goldfish in your country, I don't mean actual swimming living goldfish. I mean like goldfish crackers, which are very common here and I love them so much. I don't love them as much as I used to, I've learned. I was like, oh my gosh, goldfish. I haven't had those in forever. And I got the huge thing of them and I've eaten a decent amount, but I can't just sit there and eat them forever like I used to. So it probably means that my tastes are gro growing, growing up, question mark. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I heard back about how the episodes look from yesterday, like the, the mobile countdown episodes that we shot yesterday. There are a couple where everybody was like, whoa, these look super cool. And uh, happily Aaron just saw a bunch of them and was like, oh my gosh, these look like, I can't handle this. And I was like, yay, that's the right response. Because you want to be a little bit conflicted and weirded out, but at the same time be like, it's kind of cool. That's the goal. That's the beautiful, the beautiful mobile countdown goal. Oh, I have tongue twisters on the brain right now. I love tongue twisters. I love them so much because I've been doing them since I was like a kid because I was taking acting classes when I was a kid. And, you know, I was loud and my parents didn't know what to do with me. And they were like, maybe she'll do good in theater. And so I've been doing tongue twisters for so long now that there are some of them that I just automatically do. Like whenever we have daily bite, if I'm tripping over something over and over again, I'll just run through all of the tongue twisters that I love. But the problem is, is I feel like they don't help you as much. The more that you do them because you have that muscle memory, right? Like it does wake up your mouth a little bit, but it doesn't challenge it. So like there are some like uh, a big blue bug bit a big black bear and the big black bear blood blue blood. I've been doing that one since I was a kid. And seven small swans saw six swift ships sailing southward. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickle peppers, a peck of pickle peppers, to Peter Piper pick, Peter Piper picked a peck of pickle peppers, how many pickle peppers do Peter Piper pick? Like, I can do those so easily, and I want new ones. <laughs> I've decided this today. I was like, I need some new tongue twisters. The one that I couldn't remember it for the life of me, I had to look it up. The one that they always had us do uh, in college was to sit in solemn silence on a dull, dark dock in a pestilential prison with a lifelong lock awaiting the sensation of a short, sharp shock from a cheap and chippy chopper on a big black block, which is very morbid, but uh, but they had us do that one all the time. And we would like accelerate. You'd get faster and faster and faster with it. Um, and there's one, this isn't, it's not a tongue twister, but it's like, it's a thing that you run through that uh, takes you through all of the natural sounds that people go through in English. It's called the antiseptic baby and the prophylactic pup. Wait, let me read it to you. It's so weird. Antiseptic baby and the prophylactic pup. Oh, that was kind of hard to type. The antiseptic baby and the prophylactic pup. Oh God, this is a picture of a bunny. Why would you do this? The antiseptic baby and the prophylactic pup were playing in the garden when the bunny gambled up. They looked upon the creature with a loathing undisguised. It wasn't disinfected and it wasn't sterilized. They said it was a microbe and a hotbed of disease. They steamed it in a vapor of a thousand odd degrees. They froze it in a freezer that was cold as banished hope and washed it in perman permanganate 
With carbolated soap, God, I don't even remember that part, and sulfurated hydrogen, they steeped its wiggly ears. They trimmed its frisky whiskers with a pair of hard-boiled shears. They donned their rubber mittens, and they took it by the hand and elected it a member of the fumigated band. There's not a microcos- there is not a micrococcus in the garden where they play. They bathe in pure I- iodoform a dozen times a day, and each imbibes its rations from a high hygienic cup the bum bunny and the baby and the prophylactic pup that was like there was a girl that i was in college with who she would run through that before every play and every time i was like i cannot memorize this like i just can't it's so hard for me to memorize this for some reason like it was just the toughest thing for me but time twisters and i we good. We good. Red leather, yellow leather. Red leather, yellow leather. Red leather, yellow leather. Red leather, yellow leather. Red lorry, yellow lorry. Red lorry, yellow lorry. Red lorry, yellow lorry. Red lorry, yellow lorry. Toy boat, 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 toy boat. That one tripped me up. That one's like they claim that toy boat is one of the hardest ones. Sometimes I can do it fine though. Toy boat, 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 toy boat. It always falls apart though. In the end, it doesn't even matter. <laughs> but, man, tongue twisters are so fun. Ah, oh, I love them. I love tongue twisters so much. So I need to find... Actually, let's look up some new ones. Let's see. Uh, English tongue twisters. English tongue twisters. Oh, that's actually a page. Peter Piper. Okay. I saw Susie sitting in a shoe shine shop where she sits, she signs, and where she... Sh what? Where she sits, she shines, and where she shines, she sits. Oh, that's hard. I saw Susie shits. I saw Susie. Oh, it's one of those ones that's meant to, like, trip you up. Oh, my gosh. Not not just trip you up, but make you say awful words. There's um, there's one. Wait. Uh, I am a motherfessant plucker. That's another one that's intended to make you say mafa. It's hilarious. <laughs> Because there was always that one kid who was new to our department and we'd make him do it and he, they would always, they would always mess it up. Wait, oh no, if I do this and I say a bad word, I'm sorry. I am a mother pheasant plucker. I pluck mother pheasants. I am the most pleasant mother pheasant plucker that ever plucked a mother pheasant. So that's intended to like m m mess you up in an obvious way. So, dude, every time people would be like, oh, <laughs> they like try to do it and be like, oh, I said a... I said a swear. <laughs> I saw Susie. Oh my gosh! I saw Susie sitting in a shoe shine shop, where she sits, she shines, and where she shines, she sits. Ah! That one's awful. How many boards could the Mongols hoard if the Mongol hordes got bored? How can a clam cram in a clean cream can? Send toast to ten tenths stout saints as ten tall tents. What? Denise sees the fleece. Denise sees the fleas. At least Denise could sneeze and feed and freeze the fleas. <laughs> Sheena leads, Sheila needs. Sheena leads, she Sheila needs. Sheena leads, Sheila needs. Sheena leads, Sheila needs. The 33 thieves thought that they thrilled the throne throughout Thursday. Ah, oh, that's easy mode. Can you can a can as a can or can can a can? You cuss, I cuss, we all cuss for asparagus. What are some other good ones? Six, oh, this looks awful. Six, sick, hicks, nick, six, slick, bricks with picks and sticks. Six, sick, hicks, nick, six, slick, bricks with picks and sticks. Six, sick, hicks, nick, six, slick, bricks with picks and sticks. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. But look. It's just between you and me. Tongue twisters are the best thing on the planet. And they're wonderful. Everybody should learn tongue twisters. Ah, <sighs> uh, yeah. Um Co-optional Podcast got cancelled. Uh I am not going to be on MangaPod. And thus my day wound up being fairly empty. But uh that's okay. I got all of my dishes done. Um, I called my landlady a bunch of, bunch of stuff that needs to be fixed. Um, I did not clean the living room and did not do laundry, <laughs> but I did a lot of laundry last week. So whatever. I'm just not going to do it this week. But overall, 
I've had a I've had a good day. I've recorded a bunch of gameplay. I'm trying to trying to get those up right now. I'm currently right now uploading a walk in the dark. So hopefully that goes up. I get to play as a silhouetted cat. It's fantastic, and the the music is great. Um, and I'm also going to try to upload uh, Path of Exile tonight. But that one's been a little finicky, and I'm not sure why. So we're going to try to get that up. But anywho, um, yeah, I'm going to go. But I hope you guys had an amazing day, and I will talk to you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.